Fox News alert. New video coming in from home Syria where the violence is escalating at this very hour. This as desperate new pleas come out of the country and growing calls for the world to stop the killing. Activists saying le at least seven people killed in reported government strikes in the city of Homs. Hundreds more killed over this past week. That's an estimated 6,000 people since the month of March. Uh, the U.S. State Department repeatedly saying the U.S. won't intervene. Now several lawmakers here in, uh, at home, including Senator John McCain, are calling for action. Stephen Yates is the former deputy assistant to the vice president for national security affairs. He joins us right now. Stephen, it's good to have you. And that video we were just looking at, fresh in from home Syria, shows all the more why there should be something done to stop the violence there on the streets of Syria. But with diplomacy efforts already failing, what can we expect the United States to do? Well, Kelly, I think it is rightly seen as a, another big test of what an Obama doctrine of foreign policy is supposed to be. And really one of the tragedies as we've watched these events unfold over the last few years is that oppressors and the oppressed really have big doubts about where, where we stand as a country in support of freedom movements. Now we see once again people have taken their own lives, uh, put, it at, put them at risk to throw off an oppressor, and they have no idea whether and how the United States will support them. I think that it's very, very important that we do many, many things that uh, have not been tried to date uh, that are short of using American troops. A lot of things can be done to help these people materially communicate, uh, provide for the welfare of their people, also to encourage our allies in the region to do more to support them. Uh, it's really not a bilateral question of the United States and Syria, uh, as was the case in, in Libya. Unfortunately, we constrain our allies by not being clear about what we seek and encouraging them to materially help these people. Well, Stephen, to your point, uh, Senator John McCain has gone so far as to say that we should actually arm the opposition in Syria, and some other people agree with him. Is, should we arm uh, Syria? Is that, is that really something the United States should be doing? I wouldn't rule it out personally, but I don't understand why we wouldn't first turn to allies in the region and tell them that we support the right of the people of Syria to seek a better future. And if you see it in your interest as we do ours, we won't, certainly won't impose some kind of a phony embargo upon you the way we did, frankly, with Libya, where we said that a leader must go. We led from behind with a minority of NATO partners, and our State Department inexplicably maintained an arms embargo. We should be clear about empowering friends in the region to move first and leave to another point later down the road whether we need to have our troops involved, which I think should be a last resort. So based on that, you're looking at that Libyan uh, example where the Arab uh, League got together and they were actually part of the plan to uh, take out Muammar Gaddafi and, and stop Libya from doing its violence. Uh, would that work as it did in Libya or would Syria be different because of Bashar Assad's uh, relentless attack on his own people? I think there are a lot of analysts who can point to a lot of ways that Syria is very, very different from Libya. But what is definitely true is that our president should be taking a comprehensive approach to American power and making very clear what we seek in this area. It's a, a, a region vital to our interests. We do have a stake in this. Assad is our enemy. He's an ally of Israel. His downfall would be inherently good for American interests. We should be serious about supporting that kind of an outcome. And we should be using all elements of American power and even a Cold War-like grand strategy that Newt Gingrich has talked about and talking about Poland, uh, where you have secular government and all other elements of our culture to try to help those seek freedom for themselves. And without that, I think that we're chasing events and actually increasing the risk of conflict and war. Hmm. And I think, as you were mentioning, you said ally of Israel. I, I, I think you may have meant to say ally of uh, Iran, but uh, we thank you so much, Stephen Yates, for pointing out oh, this. Sorry. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, no, exactly. We thank you for pointing out what's going on there and how you, your perspective sheds light on what the United States can do and should be doing to help the people there in Syria. Thanks very much. Jamie? Thank you. Kelly, thank